Hello everyone, this is John Adolfi and welcome to the Phoenix Project. The reason why we affectionately call it the Phoenix Project because whoever snatches up these properties, and there are six in all, are going to have quite a project on their hands and that is, is that we're looking for someone or an organization that is interested in purchasing three quarters of a block here in Phoenix, New York. And I just want to show you around here. We're on Main Street, which is also known as Route 57, and we've got a pharmacy across the street here called the Medicine Place. To the south, and we're going to go down there in just a second, I'll show you where there's a burned dairy being built about a mile down the road here. And here we've got the fire department. Now this property consists of one, two, three houses, another house, the yellow one right there, a vacant lot, and then over down Colvert Street, another two-family property, all comprising of approximately 1.2 acres. Now we're going to take a look around here and I'll show you all the different properties as we continue on our, our tour here. Here we go. All right, here's the three properties on Bridge Street, consisting of 199 feet from the property's edge down there all the way to the corner right here. Here's the front of the property on Main Street, and again, from corner to corner is 275 feet. On the north side of the property, it begins right at the end of the property line for this uh, gray house right here, continues on approximately 109 feet and ends right here on the corner. One of the features of this property is it's got a three-way stoplight here and the traffic that comes from the south here and then travels down here, some of it goes this way, but the majority of it goes down this way towards Radisson and Baldwinsville. Approximately 7,400 cars every day. Over to my right here, kitty corner to this property, is the third highest grossing a nice and easy convenience store out of 70 stores. This is number three in New York State. And one of the biggest complaints that we have received about the nice and easy is the fact that it's so busy there that it makes it difficult to go in and shop. That's a fact. I've heard that from at least a half a dozen people over the last couple of years. And if a half a dozen people are saying that, you know that there's more that are not only thinking it, but actually avoiding it because of the, the traffic here. All right, here's a copy of the tax map. And the three properties on Main Street that we showed you, the one on the right, the yellow one, and then the vacant lot are right there. The gray one that we showed you on the side street is there. And then the three on the side street where, the, where we said it was 199 feet are these three right here. So there's six in all, all right, 1.21 acres. So that'll give you an idea of what it looks like. And over here is the nice and easy convenience store, Kin Kitty Corner with the traffic light right here. Here's an overview of the property from a different perspective. There's all six properties right there. There's your traffic count, 7238. And as it turns to Baldwinsville, it goes to 7425. And then 5331 are traveling back and forth from the north where Fulton and Oswego lie. Down here is where Clay is. About four miles to the south is the Great Northern Mall. Here's our closing shot of the new Burn Dairy being built. It's right on the corner of Route 57A and Route 57, just one mile south of the Phoenix Project. And it just goes to show you that there is a need in this village. And with that explosion that took place with nice and easy kitty corner to the Phoenix Project, here's the answer from Burn Dairy. Do you want to get in on the equation? Give us a call, 695-6434, and we'll explore it further with you. You folks have a great day. Thanks for watching.